You know, I have a lot of fond memories of doing nano each year. I've done them for seven years in a row now. I have participated, we'll, we'll clarify that. I have participated in seven years of NaNoWriMo. And I've participated in a number of camp years, but I haven't, you know, done it consecutively. And I'm glad I have. I have a little short story, it's not very long. For most of the year, I was not feeling very well. And I can't even remember if I tried to do any writing. I mean, I tried to do some here and there. I think I had one story idea and I was writing on it, and, but you know, didn't get past 10,000 words. <laughs> so most of the year wasn't very good for me health-wise. And then all of a sudden, at the end of August, August 30th, I started to feel better. And it was kind of like this weird, Okay, I feel like writing. Okay, we're gonna write. And it was this slow, I'm, I'm writing this story. Best way the emotional word picture is, I was in a dark room and then the light switch suddenly turned on and it was kind of like, but is the light really on? Are we really sure about this? And I seriously was just waiting for something to pop out and go, psych, but it, it never did. And then I felt like, Oh, I think I might want to post this story, which actually it was a different story than what I'm currently posting now. But I just suddenly felt like I was going to do that and I started writing it as if I were going to do that. And then I felt like, oh, maybe I should update my Harry Potter fanfiction after not writing it for two whole years. <laughs> and everything just started turning on and all of a sudden I was... I switched projects and decided I'm going to write The Marked Heroes and up edit that and update that and post that and it was all just okay. And it was like that for all of September and then October comes and I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to do Inktober. What, Anthony? And guess what? Anthony did not miss a day. She crapped a few days, but she <laughs> did not miss a day. <laughs> hey, hey. It was a wonderful experience. Do we ever want to do it again? Nope. Yeah, I did Inktober instead of Preptober. <laughs> and then I always knew I wanted to do November. It was kind of like, I'm going to do NaNoWriMo this November. Absolutely. And then it came around and I decided, oh, remember that I had a YouTube channel? I think I'll post a video. A little funny video. And then it snowballed from there. I decided I would make videos. And that was the best thing that I've ever done in my entire life. It was so great. I am so thrilled. I found so many other authors on, on YouTube and I've made friends and I'm gonna make more, I'm sure. I've reached goals and I killed the 10K challenge, which by the way, my pins came. I just don't have them with me right this very second because that would require me to go get up and go get them and show them to you, which <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Maybe later. I've done things that I haven't done in a long time and I've said things that I've not been able to say. But here's here's the thing. When I felt down in October, when I had a poor day in October, after having such a great September, that old fear would rise up in me of, oh no, am I is this gonna all disappear again? And I would spend all day fighting that bad day. I would spend every waking minute, hour in front of my computer trying to make something happen and just, you know, nothing would really happen and I hated it for that. I was so frustrated with myself because I couldn't do the thing. And you know, it makes sense, like of course, that fear of losing myself was very strong and so of course I would fight, but I don't feel the same way during NaNoWriMo. I'm sure NaNoWriMo can be very difficult for a certain type of person, and I feel like I'm one of those, which is an all-or-nothing kind of person. And, you know, that's okay, but like during NaNoWriMo, everything gets pushed aside. It's not writing, no. And that's not great. NaNo is great, but at the same time, it's not perfect. We try to push and get a novel done in the month of November, but it really can tear us apart and can chomp on us and chew on us and then spit us out. And then by the end of November, we're dead and we were like, I hate writing. Why did I do this? That's not a good thing to feel at the end of November, in my personal opinion, because if you really want to be a writer, 
then burning yourself out is not the way to go. <laughs> it's just not a good thing. It's not healthy for the creative brain. It's not gonna work. I think finding a balance is so important. I know a lot of people are like, oh, we shouldn't give the advice that you should write every day. And in some ways I agree. And then in the other ways, I disagree. Because if you want to be a full-time writer, then you need to be touching your writing. So you don't have to add words to your project, but Maybe you should try to look at your writing and then don't leave your writing for long periods of time if you can help it. You don't have to work seven days a week, 24-7. <laughs> if that's what you want, then don't leave it for too long. Finding that balance is so important, but you're not going to find a balance and then move on. I think finding a balance is a daily thing. Just kind of like patience. Patience is a daily struggle. You might have patience yesterday, but you certainly don't today kind of thing. I think that's something that you have to work with every day. Because if you don't find that balance, then you're just gonna burn out. And that's no good either. And it makes me sad because I see a lot of author tubers dropping off. I mean, I totally understand because they might be killing it with their words, but they're done with the daily vlogs. <laughs> And I, I totally get that. I mean, I'm totally burnt out from daily vlogs, but I love it so much that I don't want to stop, so it's unhealthy. You know, there's an ongoing joke in the NaNoWriMo community where it's like, I don't always write a novel, but when I do, I write the whole thing in the month of November. It's just, you should be writing all the time. If that's what you love, you should do it as often as you can. For those of you, yes you, for those of you who know you're just not going to reach the 50,000 word mark by the end of the month, let me give you some advice, some words of comfort. <laughs> let me, let me tell you something very important. 50k is just a number. That's all it is. It's a contrived number. According to Wikipedia, a full-length novel is only 40,000 words. So NaNoWriMo just plopped 10k on top of that and said, this is a novel. That's, that's fine. And it's great that people reach 50k. It's great when people blast past that. That's fantastic. Congratulations if that's you. But for those who feel like they just can't reach that 50k because of, you know, family, because their writing is kind of, you know, got a block or they're just not feeling the project. There's so many reasons why a project might kind of faint on you. <laughs> That's okay. The 50k is just a number that we all try to achieve. But what if you ended up writing 20,000 words this month and you wrote 20,000 words the next month? You have just written a novel, according to the Wikipedia. If you keep doing that every month, you'll slowly but surely have a novel on your hands. I think a ton of writers, me included, fixate on the daily word count. It's going up. See, it's going up. I'm not sure if that's the best thing. When I was editing The Marked Heroes, my word count maybe went up 2,000 words in the course of two months. But I edited chapters 1 through 16, and that matters. So long as you're working towards your goals, I think that will make a difference. That, that matters so much. So please don't lose heart if you're feeling like you're not going to win NaNo. Because the challenge is not the end all. The challenge is just the swift kick to the pants to get us all started. Because sometimes we need that, you know, driving motivation and hype to start. And I think what happens with NaNo is everybody starts to burn out because they're trying so extra hard to reach this number that we have all decided is the right number. I think the key is just to continue into December, into January, February. Just just keep on going, you know? I think that's what matters the most. Keep on writing. So you want to be a writer. So you want to write all those books that have a place in your heart. Just keep pressing forward. Patience isn't something that you learn and put in your box of learned things. You keep using it daily. Be kind to yourself. You're doing great. You've only written 5,000 words this month? Hey, that's 5,000 words you didn't have last month. You wrote 10,000 words? That's fantastic. 15, 20, 25? All fantastic. A lot of writers will say all words matter, but that's not something that we're saying tritely. We mean it. All of the words matter. What matters is your perseverance. I know Nano pushes for the daily goal. I would say, instead of having a daily habit of writing, have a daily habit of touching your story. Whether you're thinking about it, adding 
or subtracting or editing it. So long as it's still alive in your mind and in your hands, then that's good. Don't let it fall to the wayside. I think that's the most important skill that all writers can learn and discover and struggle through all of the struggles. I hope this video has given you a little bit of spark of hope. Keep on writing. You can do this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.